Hi, I'm Shawanda Green, the owner of Ignited Financial. I'm an advanced certified QuickBooks Pro Advisor and a CPA. In this short video, we'll talk about how to customize your payment terms in QuickBooks Online so that your customers pay you faster. Now let's get into the specifics of how to record your new and improved payment terms. Click on the gear icon in the upper right hand corner of your screen. All lists and terms. Now notice that this QuickBooks file already has some fairly short payment terms, but we're going to be brazen and create payment terms that are even shorter. Let's go with two days. Click on new. And in the name field, enter net two. And all that means is that the invoice is due in full in two days. Let's leave due and fixed number of days selected and then enter two in the field directly below that. Click save. And here are our new payment terms. While we're on this page, let's talk about this payment term here, due on receipt. I don't like it, it's too squishy, don't use it. It is better to set a hard date as to when your invoices are due because a lot of businesses don't take due on receipt seriously. And some will make the assumption that payment is due in 30 days if you don't state specifically when an invoice is due. Let's update an invoice with our new two-day payment terms. So we have an invoice open and the terms field is where the payment terms are located. Uh, click on the drop down menu and select net two. And let's preview this invoice. And here are our payment terms specifically and the actual due date of the invoice. If you don't see a due date here, if this option is, um, is blank, then you may have turned the feature off in QuickBooks Online. The way to turn it back on is with the invoice form open, click on Customize, click on the header tab, and then at the bottom of the screen is this due or expiration date box. If this is unchecked, the due date will not show up on the invoice, so make sure that this option is checked. To save time, you can apply default payment terms to new customers that you set up in QuickBooks Online. Let's close out of this screen and click on the gear icon. Click on Company Settings. And on the Sales tab, you'll see this section, Sales Form Content. Click on that section. And Preferred Invoice Terms is where you'll set your default terms. In our case, we're going to set it to Net2. Click Save and then done. If you'd like to update the default payment terms for a specific customer, click on Customers. Click in the row of the customer that you would like to edit. Click on the Edit button. And on the Payment and Billing tab in the Terms field, click on this drop-down menu and update the default payment terms for the customer. In this case, we've selected Net 10 Days which also means due within 10 days. Click Save. Now you go to create a new invoice for this customer. The payment terms, as you can see, will default to net 10 days. And you can always click on this drop-down menu and update the payment terms. Please leave your requests, suggestions, and questions in the comments section below. I will get back with you. And if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. You have an amazing day.